In other news tonight, the government releasing the Bahama Heads of Agreement. The 28-page document pointed to concessions made under the Hotel Encouragement Act, but also includes joint marketing contributions, where government will contribute $4 million per year toward the cost and expenses of marketing activities. This is to be matched by the resort's owner. The HOA also includes exemption from value-added tax until 2020 on intergroup transfers and refinancing arrangements and exemption from real property tax for 10 years. The Heads of Agreement also speaks to the employment of 5,500 Bahamians once the property is fully opened. In a release issued, government officials noted that Phase 1 of the project is expected to pump $2 billion annually into the Bahamian economy. Attorney General the Honorable Alison Maynard Gibson called this a big day for the Bahamas. When Bahama was closed by the previous developer and the matter brought here to the Bahamas, the Prime Minister indicated that we would do everything, the government, it's a private property, but the government would do everything to assure that the project was finished. That was an over $700 million investment to have that project finished. That the Casino, casino hotel, convention center, and convention hotel and golf course would be opened prior to the end of the 16-17 winter season. That has happened. And very importantly, there was a settlement of the valid claims of the unsecured set uh, subcontractors and suppliers um, of 100 and all of the employees were paid, but they were due as well. So it was of $101.5 million. So as well as um, now being reopened, um, we have these jobs that are very, very important, um, and we have the realization of all of the possibilities of Bahama. Free National Movement leader Dr. Hubert Minnis issuing a statement saying the public disclosure of the Bahamar deal is breathtaking in what he calls the brazen take of our country's assets. He says suggested, he suggested that the details of the disclosure is why the Prime Minister and Attorney General fought so hard to shroud this deal in what he called secrecy. Dr. Minnis says the conception and timing, along with what he called a fake soft opening, is a part of what he says is a costly campaign-driven effort to prop up the election hopes of the Progressive Liberal Party. He says the FNM will put Bahamians' interest over politicians' personal profit.